Hello, 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 it is Lazy Shen. Once again, hello, welcome back to AI The Somnium Files Episode 8. <laughs> we are back in the hot seat. Still a little bit, you know, suffering from the little bit of a throat malfunction, it seems. So the halls make a return. I am the lozenge boy. <laughs> Hope you don't mind about that. But yeah, welcome back, guys. It is AI The Somnium Files. I'm so excited to play more. Uh, do, do, wait, hold on. Don't press new game. No, 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 no. Do not press new game. Load game. And last time we left off, we saved, I think, in day three here on Somnium Files 2. Yeah, indeed. So let's just get into it, guys. Let's just get right into the action. No uh, dilly dallying. Here we are. Here we are. Last time we, we found So, as well as the dead body of Iris. With left eye missing. Or right eye missing? Uh, uh, who, who knows, right? Who knows? I'll be honest, I wasn't paying attention that much. But uh, there is an eye missing. Just like the rest of us now. And now we just finished So Somnium. After saving Iris inside the Somnium, we weren't able to get any information out of Iris per se. But, um... We did learn a lot about what's inside So's mind. So, I didn't really like he comment about it last time. But uh, there were some things about So's, like, Somnium that, like, really made me confused. So here's the thing, right? I don't think So is the killer. I don't think we have the killer, like... So, so might have been there, per se, but I don't think So is the killer. And the issue with that, right, is that So Somnium is that of somebody who kills a lot. Uh, I didn't really say much about it, but if you check all the... Uh, we, we lost a couple times. I actually cut out like a, a couple of attempts of me going through and like checking all the doors. But I, I kept in a lot of the door checks just because it was interesting. All behind every single warehouse door was, um... Like, the sounds, a, di a different way for the killer to kill somebody. So, like, one of them had, like, dripping blood. Like, it's, like, all the things that they liked about killing. Like, dripping blood or, like, the sound of knife stabs, you know? It's, like, laughter while he's, like, looking at a dead body. It's, like, the, the sound of, like, ripping meat. Every single warehouse door had, like, killer things. You know what I mean? But the issue with that is I don't think this is our guy. I think it's, it's definitely a little bit more complicated than that. But uh, I, I, we're going to go ahead and uh, talk to So here in a second to figure that out. To see if we can maybe like close in some gaps of our understanding. There the subject of the sink remembers certain persons or objects that appear in Somnium. Yeah, that's the thing, right? It's, it's like it was in their past. So an another thing that like really uh, confused me is that like... He saw the killer as, like, a purple guy. But perhaps maybe this talk will illuminate some things. But they might things. not have a clear form. Our dreams are sometimes vague or unclear, after all. That's true. Even the subject of the dream themselves. Mm. I told you earlier that the sinker experiences the dream from the perspective of an observer. Mm -hmm. That is why the person creating the dream can appear within it. But... Perhaps they do not have an objective view of themselves. So... Are, are you saying that like he doesn't know who he is? I, I feel like a politician would know who he is. Like a mirror or picture. Perhaps he's never watched himself on television. I highly doubt that. But like, that's the issue, right? It's like, for someone like So Sejima, who is a minor celebrity and appears on TV a lot, you would... Like, his appearance is actually everything. So he, he, he of all people, should have, like, a, a perfect understanding of what he looks like. Rare for a politician. That's, that's, exactly, that's what I was trying to get at here. Unheard of. He lacks that objective picture of himself. 
He remains stoic and unattached despite his position of power. I find that quite powerful. Hmm, I don't think so, Peter. To be able to put your ego aside and see yourself as God sees you? Something is wrong with so right now. It's an ability many charismatic people share. Interesting. Is that what you think about... Okay. He may not have a rational, objective assessment of himself. So, even if this figure is ambiguous... Hmm. It could be so. Indeed. It could be anyone, you know? During a sink, the sinker's consciousness, or ego, is brought into the subject's somnium. They enter the subconscious mind. At this time, oh, the sinker's shit. memories are left in their original body. I see. Picture Interesting. An egg. The ego picture is the an egg, egg. Yolk that goes into the subject's brain. Just simply picture an egg. The sinker's memories are the whites which remain in the shell. The sinker, or rather the sinker as their pure ego, experiences the subject's somnium. But to be precise, it is not only ego. When synced, a modicum of memory data does get sent into the subject's brain. Interesting. Imagine separating an egg yolk from its whites. No matter how you try, some of the egg whites will always stick to the yolk. I wonder how long they took to, to like figure this analogy out for you. This is just like that. Interesting. Interesting, okay. So tell me more about the ego algorithm. Imagine the human brain is memory of, okay, sorry. algorithmic structure. Mm -hmm. The former is preferable because the latter can be problematic. Memory and algorithmic structure. It can output things based on the inputs it is given. To make this easier to understand, compare this to a computer. Okay. Memory is like your data stored on a hard disk. Hard disk. The algorithm is the program. Mm -hmm. This program controls everything, from higher cognitive functions to primitive instinct. This program is what creates the phenomenon of consciousness. Hmm. Is that, wait, is it it? Okay. Oh, there's more, there's more. In short, it is your ego algorithm. It what is you your call ego your algorithm. Interesting. Recognition, cognition, consciousness. Okay, interesting. There's more. All of these processes are incomprehensible without the ego algorithm. However, the Wadjet system is revolutionizing the way we think about consciousness. No, oh, not this shit again. The Wadjet system controls my core programming. Using Wadjet, we could map the neural circuitry of the human brain. Damn, this is like the fucking future, guys. And we discovered a specific circuit that is key to the phenomenon of consciousness. Okay. However, we human beings are still unable to fully grasp it. Yeah, it's a, it's out of left field here. It's far too complicated. But even if we don't understand it, we can still use it. That's true. You don't have to understand electromagnetism to use a microwave oven. <laughs> the logic system is how we are able to extract the sinker's consciousness. That is what makes sinking possible. I see. Peter looks the same as usual. Okay, Peter, thank you for the life lesson. Uh, that was a lot. And it, 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 <laughs> not, not much else to say here. You can see the sink machine through the window. Cool. Don't talk, to, talk to the boss first. Are you kidding me? You know that what we find in Somnium can't be submitted as evidence in court. That's the issue, right, isn't it? Besides, we don't even know for sure if that figure was so. You said it was. I said that it's probably him. Yeah, that's the issue. Um, excuse me. S yes, what? I'm right here. I can hear everything you're saying. I know. And so we're gonna keep talking about you from here. I saw it on the monitor. Iba saving Iris as she was being stabbed. Yeah. Of course, since you and Iba are one in the same, it's like you saved her, Doctor. Shut the fuck up, boss. I don't wanna hear that. But that was just a dream. It's, it's not, not real. real. Saving her insomnium won't save her now. Yeah, she's already like long dead. I'm sorry. Dante. Man, I'm f I feel bad for no, you, Dante. Nothing yet. 
They arrived a while ago, but... Your own daughter fucking snuffed. That warehouse is owned by Okiura Fishery. I know. Iba, can you check to see if it's the Okiura we know? Searching. Uh, okay. Boss is standing there. It's searching, but then are, are you gonna like, get back to me on that, or...? <laughs> no, okay, let's talk to So here. He looks tired. The medicine hasn't fully worn off yet. It makes him a bit dazed about Iris. I've been telling you I don't know anything. That's impossible. It's impossible because we saw, saw her. I saw Iris in your dream. Yeah, that's the, the issue is we saw all these scenes play out, which means that he was there to witness it. You have to have some memory of her. What are you talking about? I don't understand a word of this. Interesting. Come to think of it, I still haven't heard your explanation for this. For this. Two the days phone, ago, yes. you called Shoko Nadami just after 9 p.m. Why? That is a private matter that I will not discuss with you. Yeah, the issue is we don't have a warrant or anything, like, you know. Unless he slips up about that, like, we, we can't really squeeze any information out of him. You killed Iris, didn't you? What, what, is, what is your album for Shoko's murder? What were you doing at 5 p.m. two days ago? Just playing fucking Mahjong, right, up until late night. Reading a book at home. Oh, that's right. My bad. And then he went to play Mahjong at the time of death. You can ask my housekeeper or my bodyguards. They will confirm that for you. Okay. That does match what the bodyguard said earlier. Interesting. But they're like family to him. They're not above telling a lie to protect their boss. I mean, that's true, but... Hmm... Killed Iris, didn't you? I didn't. Are you planning on acting dumb all night? How did you know Iris was stabbed? I heard it. What? You heard it? On my way to this place, I heard that woman over there talking. Something about a girl who got stabbed in the back. Are you talking about me? Yes, you. Interesting. I don't remember exactly what I said. You should have just said you didn't say it, boss. It's possible that I mentioned a body with stab wounds to the back. Boss. There's no way. There's no way. Boss. It is impossible to determine now. He very well may not have seen Iris's body. There's no way he was in the warehouse. Fuck. We, we, um, we're just letting it slip through our fingers here. No. He still must have. He was in the warehouse. But does that mean we can conclude for certain that he saw the corpse? That's also true, though. Like, we didn't, we didn't see him see the corpse as the issue. Fuck, we're letting him- we're letting him slip right through our fucking fingers! Man! Ugh. Who is it? Date, the investigation team is calling. This is Date from Abyss. What happened? Better not be fucking 89 again. Hey, sorry to call you out of the blue. There's something we want to check. It's now a good time. I guess uh, now a time better than any. Sure, what is it? You said you found a body at Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. One at Ariake, warehouse district? Is it gone? Yes, that's right. Huh. Okay. Why? What happened? It's uh, not here. It's not here? What's not there? We searched all over the warehouse. We didn't find any bodies. But you've. Uh, fuck me. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. That's really bad. I don't, I, th that's the issue, right? I, I, I don't know. Maybe the call was to guard the body until the, the police got here. But would that have been, like, too, too dangerous to do so? Fuck, it's gone. It really is. She was stabbed well, first. No body. She was stabbed first and then frozen. The body's gone. It's we'll all cleaned up. Everywhere. I mean, she had, he had, like, the killer had somebody else. Like, ugh, it's not so, right? Oh, fuck. Shit. They had somebody else clean the body while we were busy. Uh, Date, I am not doubting you. However, are you sure? Unless we hallucinated it? Yes, I'm sure. I saw it. I know I saw it. The issue is, fucking Iba died at that point, so we don't have video record. I saw Iris's body with my own right eye. Hmm. Then perhaps someone moved the body between the time we left and CSI arrived. Yeah, there it could have been. No, there's another possibility. There is? 
that it's still here? What's the other possibility? Where, where am I going? Hmm. Hmm. This is bad. Sagan residence. Is she still alive? She's playing around. She totally is still alive. What the fuck? D Date? Iris. What are you doing? Barging in without ringing the doorbell? Oh, oh you see, shit. Mizuki ended up staying at my place. Oh, shit. Um, something wrong? The world. Oh, shit. Changed. The world changed? What do you mean, the world? Oh, because we saved her in the Somnium? No, th there's no way. No, 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 there's no way. I, I refuse to believe us saving her in the Somnium in the future saved her life in the past. That doesn't make any sense. No, 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 no. I, ex I, do, not, I do not accept that explanation. I mean, he didn't give it yet, but he will give it in three seconds. Iba and I saved Iris during the sink yesterday. Yeah, here we go. Here's his little spiel. He'll be like, I oh, saved him. Me, me, me. It's not, it's not, I refuse to accept this. She wasn't killed. True, but that was only a dream. Maybe the dream changed reality. It is kind of suspicious, though, because Mizuki also saw the dead body of Iris before she died, and then uh, in the future we saw her dead body. Like, unless Mizuki has some kind of, like, you know, future reading, like clairvoyance. <sighs> Impossible. Then how else would you explain it? Iris came back to life. That's the issue. Okay, <laughs> all right, you fuckers. Let's see if there's anything here for us. Uh, it seems like everything else is just, uh, clinical, because we've seen I all the- I sleep with a different oh. one every night. <laughs> They're so fluffy. They're so fluffy. Oh, a body pillow. Yep, Consider a floaty. Consider it a good luck charm, so you don't drown when you sink. Ah, uh, uh, ooh, I like that. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. It's November. November's pretty close. Take your Christmas tree. It's been here since I first was in the, uh, in this room. Plaster figure, stationary bike. We've seen most of these already. Symbol, triangular ruler. Did you ever used to play with these rulers like a gun when you were in elementary oh, oh, school? Oh, a hundred percent. I don't know. I don't have any memories from back then. Remember? Oh, you but just say yes, Date. Come on. It was a monitor built in. You Boss's know, chair. the kanji for chair comes out to strange mushroom. That's true. Makes me think of a man's strange mushroom. Okay. If you know what I mean. We're shutting it down. <laughs> never, never, boss, I let you speak. We're shutting it down. Seriously, is that the only thing you can think about right now? Darts so machine. the darts board has all these holes, and the tip of the dart goes in, right? <laughs> no, we're, we're we're shutting this down, boss. Boss, you gotta you gotta chill out. It's kind of sexual, don't you think? <laughs> I I love you, boss. Man, this is one of my favorite characters for sure. I do not understand. What is sexual about it? Iba, there's a hole in a tip, Iba. It you goes penetration. It. it goes in. Come on. Use your advanced AI ma machine learning to learn yourself uh, some sexuality. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Mr. President. <sighs> That song used to be copyrighted, you know? But now it's public domain and I can sing it to my heart's content. <laughs> you could sing it even if it wasn't. Don't you love it? <laughs> it doesn't stop you Where from singing. Where should I put old Jack here? I thought his name was Bill. It was Bill, yes. <laughs> Just change the names of these characters. Oh god. I Dude, I fucking love the boss. I don't know. Sobador curtain, Tanuki. Here's Mr. I can't Tanuki. Can't believe it's not a raccoon. <laughs> I can't believe it's not butter. What? <laughs> yeah, it's not a raccoon. <laughs> it's not. It's not a raccoon. What? There's something oh, about God. a man who likes his coffee black. Like psychopaths, right? I was told I was a psychopath for liking my coffee black. Black coffee puts hair on your chest. Not true. Does it now? 
not genetically true or biologically or chemically. And somewhere lower. Mm. I understand. You are referring to Date's leg hair. Exactly. It is quite prominent. <laughs> the descendant of Genghis Khan. Straight up fucking... Mm. I've been wondering. No more so you played... Okay, here we go. Balls. She doesn't talk about balls. Which balls are bigger? Yours? Or this soccer ball? Obviously, my cojones. A soccer ball, obviously. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> it's volleyball. You sure, man? Okay, here's Mario. Only money rain down from the sky. How many how many quotes does Mario have? <sighs> if only I could control you with a remote. Make you do this. Make you do that. This is strange, you know? Shelves. Boss bags hung upon a rack. They're filled with whips. <laughs> Full of whips. Okay, the tombstone. Rip. R.I.P. Tombstone. Door. I want to leave. Chair. I want a strange mushroom. This large key. Matroshka. Hey, Date. Who's cuter? The Matroshka or Iba? <laughs> Between these two? Since Iba's here, I'll say Iba. The first one. I will carve out your insides and turn you into a matroshka. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I but likes being called cute, you know? Which is interesting for an AI. I like that the head moves like as I move around the room. I'm just like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, enough, enough, enough uh, goofing around. It is absurd. Not possible. Dreams are figments of the imagination. Okay, so here's the issue though, right? It's like... Th that's the problem. The problem is, we killed... No, we killed... <laughs> Iris died, and then Sosajima was there at the warehouse. And when we went into Sosajima's Somnium, we saw a killer killing Iris. Right? And he was at the warehouse. So if if there was nobody there, and he left, and we got there as he was leaving, and we went inside, and there was just a body there, nothing else. Like if there was nobody in the in the instance, there was nobody. Like what was he even fucking doing there? You know, like there's no point to be in there. Something like doesn't add up here. An incident which took place entirely in your mind cannot have any bearing on the real world. Consider it. If you were to find money in your dream, does your bank account balance go up in reality? Uh, perhaps. You don't if know If you that. were to be attacked by aliens in your dream, does a swarm of UFOs invade Earth? But at the warehouse, I... You must have been hallucinating. Ah, <sighs> damn. Really? Within what what did I see, Zomium, though? You saw Iris's frozen corpse. It is affecting your mental state. I mean, Last that's probably night, true, you though. you were so phased by it that you couldn't speak. If it bothers you to this degree, why not go talk to Iris? We should. We really should. Okay, about Renju. Mizuki went to Bloom Park three nights ago. Damn, it's been three days already, huh? She was prompted by a Nile message from Renju. Mizuki, daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry round right away. There are three possibilities. It was Renju. One, Renju killed Shoko, or was an accessory to the murder. Two, Renju was threatened or blackmailed into luring Mizuki to the scene. Three, the culprit used Renju's phone to send the Nile message. Yeah. In any case, the motive is still unknown. We need to talk to Renju. Damn, this is uh, complicated. Renju, where did you go? We can't. We still can't find this guy. That's the main issue. Where's Iris now? Her cell phone is on. I can trace her via GPS. She is currently somewhere in the Lemniscate building. She went back to work like that. That's crazy. You asked Mama at Marble for information regarding Renju Okiura, correct? That's true. It is possible she may have something for you by now. Let's go check. Oh, I asked Mama for information too. I promised him a meeting with Iris. Mama can wait for now. We can talk to Iris's mom as well. She was Renju's classmate, right? That's true. And also my wife? Iba told me about her. That she doesn't remember me? Hmm. 
Something is fishy, like the Okiura fishery. As the name suggests, the company is owned by the Okiuras, the same Okiuras we know. The Renju's same Okiuras. father created the company. Ah, dude, Renju's fucking family is a group of fucking affluence. Another connection to Renju. No, actually. Currently, Okiura Fishery has nothing to do with Renju. They just the kept company the name. has been managed by office representatives for the past 17 years after Renju's father died. I see. Renju holds no shares and is not involved in the management. <laughs> they just kept the name for fun? In short, Renju did not inherit the company from his father, and it was instead given to other I mean, th th that's fair though. Like, you can't give your son everything, right? Like, you spoil the kid. It certainly is suspicious. Renju is definitely a part of this in a heavy way, and... I'm still trying to figure out how all of the... You know... Hmm... Hmm... I was just thinking, right? It's like, there's a lot of connections. Like, Renju is connected to everybody. And also, there's like this left eye damage motif that connects a lot of people. I was thinking, right? Shoko died, left eye gouged, right? Um... And who's his face died? Left eye gouge. Uh, Iris died, left eye gouge. Uh, I don't remember exactly how that old guy, Rohan probably is his name, lost his left eye. But he also lost his left eye, and so did I. But I remember six years ago. So perhaps I was also like a victim of the serial killer and I lived? Perhaps? Date and Iba saved Iris Insomnium, and that changed the history of the real world? I don't think so. Hmm. Well, I guess it's not impossible. That isn't what you said yesterday. <laughs> that was then, this is now. A woman's mind changes with the phases of the moon, you know? No, it doesn't. True that. Anyway, I believe in Date. I trust him more than anyone else in Abyss. Why do you have such a big trust in me? That's interesting. About so. Congressman Sejima is suspicious in more ways than one. Exhibit A. Yeah. Three days ago, so called Shoko Nadami's phone. We still don't know exactly why. He only told us it was meant to be private. Exhibit B. So Sejima was at Okura Fishery Warehouse last yeah, night. Yeah, he was. Like, th that was confirmed. He was there. But he didn't inform us of this. There must be something he doesn't want us knowing. Exhibit C. So was in Iris's Somnium. So was, no, Iris was in So Somnium, is what you meant to say. Dreams are constructed from memories. Yet, the good congressman denies he ever knew Iris. Yeah, there's a lot of issues here. But prophetic dreams. Stranger things have been known to happen. Two days ago, Date found Iris's frozen corpse in Mizuki's Somnium. That's the issue, and then it appeared in real life. It... Must have been a prophecy. Boss. There's a lot of stuff in this world that can't be explained by science. Or at least, like, not yet, you know? Like, I, I assume at some point we'll be able to, but we're, we're not anywhere close yet. So she established herself as a major player in the police department because she believes what she wanted to. So we're so now. I sent him home yesterday. You released him? What was I supposed to do? You can't keep detaining him for longer than 48 hours. We can't hold him without solid proof. What we saw with Iris hasn't happened yet. In any case, we have to speak with him again. That's the issue. We gotta hunt him down now. I but about Okira Fishery. I would suggest searching the warehouse again. I would as well. You may be able to discover why Iris was resurrected. Okay. Myself, I'm in Iva's line of sight. Hmm, there's something else I still need to talk to you about. Boss? Oh, the summary, that's right. There are four people I should talk to. So Sejima, Iris and Hitomi Sagan, and Mama. <laughs> yeah. And I need to check the warehouse one more time. We Five locations. Of Five locations for Let's us to moving. soup through. I wonder if we'll start, like, you know... Because last time we were not punished or, like... So, like, obviously, you don't have, like, all the time in the world, right? But last time, we were able to still check out everybody's leads. I, I wonder if they're gonna start, like, you know, 
slowly closing off our avenues and making us choose who we want to talk to. And if we don't talk to like all of them in time. Okay. I think the most the most pressing ones, if you're thinking about this as like a real experience, right? Sejima Residence and Cold Storage, definitely two of the more uh, pressing ones. One, because this was a quote-unquote crime scene. And if it was cleaned, then, you know, the longer we wait, like the, the less leads we'll have. And then Sejima Residence, the longer we wait, the more like likely they'll be able to come up with some kind of alibi. Realistically, in this game, it won't matter, but so let's go down the list here. Let's talk to Sejima first. Well, let, let's get Marble, let's get Marble out of the way first, so we can, uh, see if we can find Renju's Avenue. Before anything else. Monday? Here we go. Here we go. You need more info on Ren? I do. I'm sorry to waste your time, but I don't have anything for you. I see. We still talk to Mama, though. I find it calming. Why is that? Don't ask me. <laughs> Don't ask me why you're brushing this fish. About Renju. You know about Renju and the Kumakura gang, right? I do. Yeah. I, I heard it from his own mouth right here. Do they have anything to do with the talent scandal at Lemnisgate? The talent scandal? Maybe now they do, since Renju is the president of Lemnisgate. But even before that, Renju and the Kumakuras go way back. All the way back to high school. All the way back to high school, dude. Why everyone go back to high school? Renju's caught up in some like weird shit, guys. Hey, Date. Have you ever seen a dead body? Whoa, what the f that is not what I expected from Renju's voice, I'll be honest. That Renju's saying that uh, that to me after he and I went through a bottle. Damn, what the fuck? You're a policeman. I don't know what department, but I assume you aren't handing out traffic tickets. So, how about it? Who is that? I didn't answer. I took the question around him. What about you? Oh, on him. Me? I see. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Not just one. Countless bodies. Countless bodies? Why countless bodies? Is Renju... Mm, Renju's involved in this shit too, huh? When I was in high school, I had a pretty crazy job. You know the Kumakura gang? I was hooked up to one of their phone fraud scams. I just had to go collect the money from drop points and give it to the Kumakuras. It was an easy job. Eventually, I became friends with the higher-ups. They started taking me with them on jobs. What job? Interesting. The target was always an elderly person from the country with no family. Elderly folk who owned a lot of land, you know? I you see. Every day in loneliness and desperation. <laughs> Clean them up real quick. You just have to be nice to them. That's all it takes. You guys would get to know the old people, and they would set up an adoption process. After that, you just have to get them really drunk. Throw them in the tub full of hot water, and they pass. So Holy like shit, what the fuck? Heart attack, brain hemorrhage, or they simply go to sleep and drown. The police almost never investigated. It always looked natural, like they died of old age. So the adopted gang members would inherit the land. Then we sell it and make massive profits. Damn, that shit's cold as fuck. I watched a lot of people get killed like that. And I've seen journalists get killed for getting too close to the truth. So I... What did you do, Renju? <laughs> Why am I telling you all this? And then Mama's just standing there right there like, what the fuck? <sighs> Are you going to arrest me? <laughs> Took a sip of my glass. I didn't say anything for a while. You didn't do it yourself, right? No, I was always the lookout. But you were an accessory. But still... Date, I... Tears fell to the counter, unending. We didn't say another word until the ice in the glass had melted to nothing. What the fuck, uh, Renju? How's it going? Well... I could use a little help down there, if you know what I mean. I'm good, buddy. I do not know what she means. Perhaps you should take her up on her offer. Absolutely not. <laughs> um, I'm good. Um, thank you. I don't have anything else for you. Sorry, I'm not much help. No, don't worry about it. 
Can you come back again tonight? There's a regular here who was good friends with Ren. They should mm. be here tonight. If you ask him, he might have some information for you. Tonight, tonight, huh? Yes. I'll be waiting for you. Interesting. Okay, that's about it for here. I think most of the things we can click on here are just uh, clinical. You're so cold, Mama. Again hey, with the fridge. I'm over here. <laughs> with the fridge, man. Care Oof. to watch some riveting videos with balls and holes? Yeah, I love s snooker. Sorry, I don't like golf. Well, there's a lot of balls and holes, you know. Okay, a lot of posts in the walls. Nothing, nothing interesting here. Let's uh, let's dip set for now. Next stop, <sighs> Sojima Residence. Knocking them all out of the park. They call me the bus boy. Cause I, I be bussing. It down sexual style. <laughs> so Sejima oh boy. is a key person of interest in this case. We got a driving scene. Earlier, the boss cited three points of suspicion against him, and I agree with her assessment. I checked the call logs of So's phones. Congressman Sejima has one phone under his name. And a burner phone rented under a fake name. Got you this time though, buddy. Did you find anything interesting? Unfortunately, no. Really? But I do have something. I looked into So's secretary's phone. Mm -hmm. One call in particular stood out to me. Huh? It was one week ago. From Fuchu Prison. Fuchu Prison. Fucking number 89. The caller identified themselves as inmate number I 89. fucking knew it, dude. Number 89. Yes. This is most likely the same person who called HQ. Who is it, Ian? Their voice is mad deep, dude. <laughs> Regardless of who it is, it's mad deep. When you crash, the first thing you hit is the dash. That's actually not true. The first thing you hit is the uh, the airbag, but you could try. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Shut the fuck up. I guess she doesn't always like sit inside the eye socket here in my car. This box is where you keep your doves. No, your gloves. It's not a dove box. Can you keep your doves in the dove box. It's true though. If I had one. Murder. He is serving a life sentence for multiple counts. He was imprisoned six years ago. Six years ago. I can with the si like. Okay. So much happened at the six year ago mark, and then I just rem don't remember any of it. Hmm. Unknown. You don't know? Number 89 has to do with me for sure. He is not registered in any database. And probably also Rohan. He could be a foreigner or recent immigrant. Because he also but it would be died six years to ago. From where. However, right? I did not detect any accent in his speech. Okay, who is 89? From what I can determine. He is an assassin. He is an assassin. He accepts jobs from the criminal underworld for substantial rewards. His code name is Falco. Falco. Ooh. Falco. Correct. God damn. Oh, I know that name. I know that name. Unknown. You would have to ask Mr. Sejima for that information. Number 89 said he knew who killed Shogo. He did. But that may be a lie. Does he have any connections to the Cyclops serial killings? Unknown. In all honesty, I have no idea. Hmm. Try though. Number 89. Number 89. Should we visit Fuchu Prison? No. We don't have time. Call up boss. Tell her to request that number 89 be brought Ooh, to Abyss. Ooh, the, the reverse sweep. Roger. Let's get Falco where we want him. Hit him with a smash melee counterattack. Tsujima residence. Here we are. I heard there was no body found at the cold storage warehouse. Isn't your investigation over? It, it, it's not, though. Go ahead. Keep, keep fitting your kappa, okay? Go, keep fitting I your kappa. Look, a merman. So is a wealthy politician. It is no surprise to me that he has a merman. Wait, a merman? A merman. Hey everybody, I'm a merman. <laughs> hey everybody, I'm a merman. Could it be? A tree. Keep feeding your merman. 
while I look around the residence for anything. It's just a bush. It's not green mochi. Sorry about that. Not a mochi. He has a really nice garden, you know? A stone garden. Talk to him right now. What do you call Shoko? You are beginning to irritate me. You, you're not even busy, dude. You're just feeding your merman. Just answer my questions, please. What did you want to talk to her about? What is the private matter you mentioned? Like, goddamn, dude. What is your relationship with her? I'll answer your questions when you present a warrant. <sighs> about Iris. How many times do I have to tell you? I don't know that girl. I've never seen her before. Date. I knew He's he was lying. lying. This proves it. I am having difficulty determining his motive for lying. I agree as well. After all, Iris was not killed. Maybe he's got a secret with her. He doesn't want us knowing. <laughs> he's also dated Iris before too. What are you hiding so? Why were you at the warehouse? I told you I will not answer that question. And why not? We didn't find anything there. There's nothing to hide. It appears that he will not respond. He'll not respond to me, okay? About number 89. Number 89? Who is that? An inmate at Fuchu Prison. He used to go by Falco. He was an assassin. Odd, finding such a person in Japan. What about him? About a week ago, he called your secretary. I don't know anything about that. He was probably calling for a pardon or some such nonsense. Mmm, you're clever, so... My secretary probably decided it wasn't worth my attention. If you need information, you can ask her. I can't... I'll go for it, then. How about that? I'll go talk to your secretary, then. Haven't you people got enough? I'm very busy. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm very busy feeding my merman. Oh, actually, I do have one more thing to tell you. To be honest, Kaname Date... I don't like you. <laughs> That's it. I don't ever want to see you again. Wow, okay. So I suggest that you don't show your face here anymore. It's what's best for both of us. Understand? Interesting. Hmm. Who does this guy think he is? Date, your blood pressure is skyrocketing. Any higher could kill you. <sighs> Relax, Date. We still Any higher could kill you. you. I don't think so. I know. I know. We're leaving. We're leaving here. Time to the Sagan residence. And then to Lemnus Gate. Alright, let's go check on Iris. I apologize for you. And it told me. I arrived uninvited. No, I'm grateful. Thanks to you. Mizuki has her voice back. No, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Where is Iris? Uh Hmm. Seems like everything else is pretty clinical. Unlike with the boss. Wait, the fridge. The fridge is important. Check the fridge. Date. Let's go. Arreo. Let's go. Let's go. A man-eating alligator lives in a river. There are no bridges or boats. How do you cross? How do you cross? What do you mean? How do I cross? You put the man-eating crocodile in the fridge. Well, let's see. You jump across. Wrong. The solution is simple. You just swim across. But what about the man-eating alligator? Is it in the fridge? He's at a convention out of town. Oh, he's at a convention. That makes sense. He isn't in the river. <sighs> nothing, to do with, nothing to do with the fridge. I'm so sad. Oh. Damn, this game has a lot of charm, you know? Where's Renju? Did something happen to him? You asked me that yesterday. Point hiding. I told him about Renju's dis disappearance. Right the hospital? <laughs> yeah, I'm he sorry. left, dude. I have no idea. It's Monday. <laughs> Today's a holiday. I suppose Is there's it? never a day off for a detective. Family day, it seems. Oh, but you aren't a detective, right? I'm not a detective, okay? Technically, yes. But I still deal with crime. I see. Today is a holiday. What holiday is it? You forgot to, didn't you? But Iris. I put Iris through so much. I was 19 and single when she was born. Jesus Christ. Me, me and you, buddy? Oh my God, we are irresponsible. People didn't take kindly to that. But Iris was such a fighter. She always protected me. Hmm. I remember, one time at the nursery, some of the other mothers were talking about me. Iris ran up to them and said, Don't talk about my mommy. Got him. <laughs> I'm supposed to be the mother. But it's Iris who's always protecting me. What about your parents? I don't know why they to feed. Don't, don't, don't ask. I was an orphan. 
and my relatives lived far away. It might have taken me in, but I was already in my second to last year of high school. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to mess that shit up because in, in Asian countries, <laughs> Japan, China, ex Korea, etc. High school ending and those, those like university exams are so, so important. If you miss out on your university exam, like at a high school, you are fighting an uphill battle. Like way uphill. It wasn't a good idea for me to move that late. Even if it's like your, you know, even if it's like not out of, in your control, like you get hit by a car or whatever, or like get hospitalized, you know, school burns down, etc. But if, even if it's not your fault, like it's still terrible for you. So I decided to stay here by myself. And take care of Iris. Yes. All alone. All alone. But Renju would help sometimes. But Iris. It was always just me and her. Vacations, barbecues, zoos. What about the one memory that I had with her? Oh, that reminds me. When Iris was five, there was a children's theater show in Bloom Park. It was called Milky Moon. It was about girls as magical space rangers and such. Huh. She loved singing and dancing, even as a kid. Interesting. Whenever she heard music, <sighs> her body would start moving. It was a quirk of hers. And she did it at the show, too. Toward the end, when all the Milky Moon girls were dancing to the ending song, Iris climbed up onto the stage and danced with her. <laughs> <laughs> a true idol in the making. I tried to stop her, of course. I grabbed her arm and tried to get her to sit, but... Nah, don't d d let her cook. Before I knew it, she was up there, dancing. And everyone was so excited. Even I was dancing by the end of it. When it was over, she had the biggest smile on her face. Mama, you're a good dancer. That's the kind of girl she was. About Iris. Whenever she sees someone playing music on the street, she'll run up and join them. Like music at the train station, the crosswalk beeping. Even at convenience stores, when their little chime played, she would start dancing. It almost got her into trouble once. She was on the jungle gym and a truck drove by. It was oh shit, dude. Out the windows. She just started dancing. And started dancing, but she lost her balance and fell. She fractured her leg pretty badly. Oh, but it healed though, right? It was on a Sunday, and it was hard to find an open emergency care. I was carrying her on my back, running and running through town. I could still hear her crying. Will I still be able to dance, Mommy? Can I still dance? She cried and cried into my shoulder. It was the only time she ever cried so much. Uh, no, um, that's not true. There was one other time. <laughs> it's the time I left home to, you know, to go grab some milk. She won't say because it has to do with my deadbeat ass. Six years ago, I was the victim Oh shit, the never mind, even worse. After the surgery, Iris came in running. And she was sobbing. Damn. Mommy, what, babe, don't die! Don't die! Baby Iris. <laughs> Please don't die, Mommy! Damn, she lived that, don't though. Don't die! <laughs> Can't believe she fucking lived that shit. That shit crazy. I swore to myself then that I would protect her. No <laughs> I swore that I wouldn't die. Iris is God damn. more important than my own life. Okay, sick. Summarize for me. Iris must really enjoy dancing. Th that's the summary. Yeah. Though her drawing skills could use some work. Drawing skills? Look at the drawing on the wall. Yeah, it's terrible. I've been wondering about that picture. Iris drew it when she was 12. That's you on the left and Iris in the middle, correct? Yes. And who's on the right? The man I was dating at the time. It was only for three months, but... I this black-haired guy. It Have you been to the Ikume Shrine in the Minato district? Hold on. I was praying there one day. Is it the guy from the Sophia who shot her? Well, more like a groan. Behind the shrine, I saw a man sitting on the ground. He was bleeding badly from his stomach. I took out my phone to call an ambulance, but he grabbed my wrist, and he held me, and then... Kissed me. What? I was shocked, but 
when I stared into his eyes. Then I heard footsteps. Love at first sight, it seems. And then a bunch of men yelling. They were looking for him. When the voices and footsteps faded, he let me go. Don't call an ambulance. And don't call the cops. I knew he had to be a criminal. So I took him to an underground clinic I knew. How do you know that? They told me. You took him to a mob doctor? Renju's friend. I only met him once. Of course it's Renju's friend. That's it. Join the wall. Looks interesting. Even though we had our first oh, there's kiss, more, that's why. After meeting each other. It took a long time before I got to see him again. The first time we held hands was when we watched a horror movie together. The first time I took his arm was when we went to a haunted house in an amusement park. <laughs> but I wasn't the one who grabbed him. Iris? A zombie jumped out oh, and scared okay. us. He had that cute side to him. And I was falling in love. Damn, dude. Okay, there's still Our more. Kiss was in the car. There's still there's still more to this okay, love life. I know. But we drove around at night, looking at all the lights. We parked our car near a warehouse and kissed. I don't think we ever said I love you. So when do I fit into this story? You hey, told me you're you're keeping something from me. I introduced him to Iris about a month after I first met him. Iris never had a father figure in her life. She warmed up to him immediately and treated him like a real dad. From then on, it was always the three of us together. We would go to the beach, to the river, the zoo. Going to barbecues with another person was a new experience. What? This, this, this feels so... There's something that's Everything scratching so and, or itching me right now that's exciting. really annoying. There's still more, oh, it seems. Sorry. You asked about Oh, fish. thank, finally. You wanted to make okonomiyaki one day. He was working with the hot plate. It was ridiculous. He was trying to flip one, and it flew up in the air and landed right on my head. Oh, that's what you all have okonomiyaki. I saw the whole thing and laughed and laughed. I hadn't seen her laugh like that in a long time. I was having so much fun that I, I thought they were halos, dude. Their heads too. Plop, plop. I added the bonito flakes and mayo and sauce. At this point, there was no going back. Eggs flew, flour going everywhere. The room was not a pretty sight. After our battle, we laughed like crazy. We were rolling around on the floor. So Iris decided to draw it. Oh my god, oh, it's, it's like egg stains and like whatever on the it's wall. Nostalgic. Damn, what a great piece. There's more? Those days didn't last. Six years ago, in November. A man with a gun broke into our house. Oh, it's a different black-haired guy. Fortunately, Iris wasn't home at the time, but my boyfriend was. That's why the gunman came. He wanted to kill him. He wanted to kill him, and he would never stop. He pulled the trigger. I tried to protect. Oh the shit! Hit me, but the police arrived. So where do I fit in this picture? So th this is the guy that he that she was dating. He's kind of sexy. And Kinda sexy looking, no? Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. I don't know the details, but it was. So he became a target for underworld criminals. I don't know exactly why, but I. Like, oh, it's, mm. it's not like he told me. Like, I don't know, dude. Like, if she's willing to tell me all of that, then she would be willing to tell me about the. Mm. May I ask you something? Of course. I had heard that that incident was a random break-in gone wrong. Oh. I lied about it at the time. Because of Mizuki. Mizuki is Iris's friend. If she found out, Iris would find out too. I didn't want Iris to know. Know what? That I was dating a criminal. Oh was yeah, about figure. that. Iris looked up to him. If she found out about his past... Hmm. Dante, yeah. we can't spend time reminiscing. I agree. We have to get moving. Yeah, let's go. See ya, buddy. Isn't that catching up, though? Even though you won't tell me about the one part that really, really... <sighs> it, 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 the, the one part that would really interest me is... Oh! Oh! It's... The itch is... Okay. Uh, mm. 
So the one part that really, really is getting me going right here is that I have this memory of being like, you know, like with young Iris, right? I, it's, it's not, it's, it's like I own this memory and I had it rekindled when I saw her, but the, the Hitomi is yet to talk about me at all, right? I mean, obviously, like, I probably look different. so aggro right now. Hold on. I was gonna say, right, it was infuriating because Hitomi was talking about her dating this criminal this whole time. And he, he is kind of sexy. I won't lie to you, this black-haired guy. <laughs> and they were like, he was like Iris's surrogate father for a while. And my memory was like a, of a young Iris. The issue is uh, her her other her the real father probably left a while ago and would never have gotten this memory of iris when she was older like an older ch child does that make me the black haired guy but like, then what did i do it, it happened six years ago there was an incident and then we went to jail but th then what happened like I was a criminal underground, and then I lost all my. Me they erased my memories, and then gave me like a new haircut. And now I'm Konami Dante, because she doesn't recognize the name Konami Dante either. So that that's also a given name. They, they named me Konami Dante. They erased my memory. They're like, you are like a super assassin, you know. Now we're gonna erase your memory, and we're gonna we're gonna. Or was I the hitman, maybe, you know? There was another guy who broke in, and so maybe I'm not the black-haired guy, maybe I'm the hitman. But then why would I have the memory of the child? That's the issue, is I can't be the hitman. I have to be the black-haired guy, the okonomiyaki guy. Who says that? Why are you angry? You backed out on your Shovel Forge promise. Do you were dead. I didn't make any promises. You promised me a date, though. I did go to your house. Two minutes before midnight, and you didn't even take me anywhere. Yeah, because we only had two minutes. We could have gone somewhere. <laughs> two minutes. Kunashir, Shikotan, Habomai. Where are these places? Absolutely not. Then you should have come earlier. Well... I couldn't, it seems, you see. Okay, well... <laughs> before we continue any further, though... Uh, before we talk to Iris, I think <laughs> this is where we're going to call it for today. We're gonna, right before we uh, go interrogate Iris, we're going to call it quits. This is a good place to stop. A great one hour-ish episode. Usually we, I try to, you know, keep it under about an hour. Mainly because, you know, I think an hour is a good amount of time to digest all this information. Because it is a lot of info, like every time. And if we just go through too much, we might miss, like, a lot of crucial info. What's really nagging me right now, at this point in time, this very instant, as I quit out to the top menu, is th this story with Hitomi and Iris and me. Uh, uh, trying to figure out where I fit into this picture as, like, a father figure. Does that make me... Or, or was the... Like, the black hair... Obviously, like, if you look at the picture, the, the guy in the picture had black hair, right? So the guy in the Somnium, in my Somnium, I was there that night. I was there that night because Somnium is a recollection of what you see. And so that night when the guy was, you know, standing over the body, the black haired guy, and it told me, I was there. But does that make me the hitman or does that make me the, the black haired guy? But it can't be the hitman because then I wouldn't have the memory of Iris. So, uh, my, my current, my current running hypothesis is that they arrested both of us, uh, we, I went to jail, they realized that they, you know, it, the police oftentimes work with very skilled individuals, criminals, you know? Because who better to uh, be, fight criminals than someone who knows all their tricks? So, they, they erased all my memories from, six, like, past six years ago. You know, at that point in time, they erased all of my memories. Then they turned me into a super soldier, Konami Date, white hair, ponytail looking ass, with a crazy nice drip. And then they outfitted me with this eyeball. Uh, Aiba. 
and now I work for the government. It, 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 like he, that's the part, right? It's like I don't work for the I don't work for the police. I work for Abyss. I work for a a secret like AI division of the police that uses like this crazy tech to do shit. But like my stuff is still experimental, so I can't use it in court. Like we can't we can't sync and then use the syncing data in court. That's the issue. So that can only be me then. I can only be the black-haired guy given our data so far. But that's probably a question we'll have to get answered in the future because it doesn't seem like they're going to let up anytime soon. Tomi has not given me any, you know, wiggle room in that in that manner, in that aspect. But the the game is getting really really interesting. Um I can't wait to play more. I can't wait to see what Iris says and also what we find at the warehouse and possibly also dive into another Somnium next time. I don't know how I feel I, like where we are in terms of pacing wise. I want to say we're about like one quarter to one third of the way through the game. Not exactly sure like where we are, but you know, hopefully we get the resolve soon. Next time on AI The Somnium Files, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do. Give me a like and a comment here on this video so you know uh, I know that you enjoyed it. I would really appreciate you do. Feedback is always helpful. And if you uh, like this video and want to see more, then do subscribe and press the notification bell so you don't miss another video in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will be streaming t probably when you're watching this. I will, I'll probably be live on Twitch. Uh, not exactly sure. <laughs> Check in to see where we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow the Twitch so you can uh, find our daily live streams. We stream like five days a week, and then two days a week we upload here. So, yeah, very cool. Anyway, that's going to be it for me for today. Drink some water, eat some butter, uh, funnel some non-existent feed from Mitomi that I accidentally touched, and I'll see you guys next time. Okay, peace. Peace, peace. Late.